So I'm here with Ellen Clark, who's a protester today, and it takes real commitment to come out in weather like this and protest. So tell us a little bit about the theme of your protest. Um, so a few of us have come down here today dressed as air cabin crew. Um, we've got these um, oxygen masks um, that are going to drop down from the bus stop. And we're going to hand them out with some leaflets to the public. Um, the aim is just to sort of attract some attention and try and draw attention um, to the fact that Leeds has got really dangerous levels of um, air pollution currently. And why do you think that air pollution in Leeds is such an important issue that, that is worthy of protesting about? Well, it's an important issue everywhere. Leeds has got particularly bad air pollution, which is something maybe people don't realise. Why does that matter? I mean, I think it matters particularly to parents um, because there's evidence that they're you know, limiting growth, um, having all sorts of consequences um, for asthma, shortening lifespans effectively. But lots of people would say that they need to travel by car to get to work. There's no other way to moment, do it. At the moment, that's true. <laughs> at the moment, as I say, you have to be a bit mad to cycle to work, for example. Um, more needs to be done uh, to make it possible to choose not to use a car every day I think that's probably the main problem um, you know public transport's awful um, I cycle to work every day but frankly it feels like taking my life into my hands you know and it shouldn't be like that it shouldn't be so difficult you know it shouldn't, you shouldn't have to be a bit crazy to make a choice that isn't making the problem worse for everyone else parents installed airplane style oxygen masks at a local bus stop to highlight the air pollution in Leeds why do you feel so passionate about this issue? I feel that not enough is being done by central government or local government to protect ourselves and our children against air pollution. The levels are dangerously high and I think a lot of people don't realise that. There has been a clean air zone proposed and talked about for a number of years in Leeds and I think that that should be implemented without further delay. I also think that people across the nation should be incentivised to abandon their heavily polluting vehicles, the larger vehicles, the older diesel vehicles that really contribute a lot to air pollution. Um, and most of all, businesses that use di diesel vehicles should ha have, there should be a programme to incentivise and support them to change those to much cleaner vehicles. And as someone who is obviously campaigning about the air pollution, what, what is it that you do yourself to, to, to try and avoid those air pollution levels? Uh, well, I leave my car at home most of the time, um, so I'm not contributing to the problem as, as much as I possibly can. In addition to that, um, I try to use lesser roads um, and you know avoid the main roads at rush hour when I can. Uh, but it's not always possible. People have to go about their daily lives, uh, and that's why I'm asking for the government to take further action. Leeds City Council are currently welcoming input from residents in their Big Leeds Climate Conversation. The key findings of the consultation will inform an action plan to be presented in December.